Hello everyone and welcome back to our data analysis with Python series. In the last video, we learned what data analysis is and why Python is the best choice. Now it's time to set up your environment so we can start analyzing real data like a pro. So in this video, we will cover installing Python, setting up Anaconda with Jupyter Notebook using VS Code for coding and analysis and some pro tips to make your workflow smooth and efficient. So let's get started. So first thing first, which is Python installation. So head over to python.org and download the latest version, preferably Python 3.11 or higher. During installation, make sure you check the box that say add Python to path. This is super important because running Python from the command line. To check if Python installed correctly, open your command prompt or terminal and type python space hyphen hyphen version if you see the version number you are good to go now you might be wondering if i have python why do i need anaconda so here's why the first one is it comes with jupyter notebook which is the best tool for data analysis the second one is it includes essential libraries like pandas numpy matplotlib seaborn and many more pre-installed it makes managing environment super easy, no more dependency headaches. So let's install Anaconda. Okay, so go to anaconda.com and download the latest version for your operating system. It can be Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Run the installer and follow the default settings. Once installed, search for Anaconda Navigator on your system and open it. From here, launch Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter is an amazing tool where we can write code, add notes, and visualize data in all in single place. We will use Jupyter a lot in this series. Now, the last one is VS Code. While Jupyter is great, you will also need a code editor for writing larger scripts and projects. The best one for Python is Visual Studio Code. So head to code.visualstudio.com and download it. After installing, add the Python extension from Microsoft. You will see it in the extensions tab. This gives you the features like syntax highlighting, auto completion, integrated terminal and debugging tools. Here is a pro tip for you. Use VS Code for big projects and Jupyter for experiments and analysis. Now let's install some essential libraries. So but we have to write in your cnd just write pip install pandas space numpy space matplotlib space cvo or if you are using anaconda most of these are pre-installed to check open jupyter and run import pandas as pd import numpy as np import matplotlib.py plot as plt and import cvo as sns if you don't get any errors, you are ready to go. Now, these all things we are doing in our VS Code. Okay. So, what's there? It is Anaconda has Jupyter. And this Jupyter notebook is indirectly attached to our VS Code. So, when we do programming, we use VS Code as an environment. But we do the code in Jupyter notebook itself. Okay. So, here are some pro tips. So, first one is create a dedicated folder for your projects. The second one is use virtual environment to keep dependencies clean. And the third one is keep your libraries updated with pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade package hyphen knee. In the next video, we will do a quick Python refresher for data analysis so you can press up on lists, dictionaries, and loops before diving into pandas and numpy okay so here is a brainwasher a quiz for you guys so quick questions before you go the question is which tool is most commonly used for data analysis in Python? here are your options the first one in jupyter notebook second one is notepad and the third one is command prompt comment your answer below and i will see you in the next video till then goodbye happy coding